With the rise of cinematic storytelling in video games, sports games would naturally follow and put their own spin on it. And by own spin, I mean getting Spike Lee to direct the story. Yes, that's right. Spike Lee directs the story Live in the Dream in NBA 2K16. I'm not being funny. That's how it's spelled. You know what? This sounds at the very least entertaining to me. So let's stop with all the suspense. Let's jump right in. NBA 2K16 has the ability to scan your face into the game with the PlayStation camera, and we're definitely using this to create our guy. The last time I did this, I looked like a monstrosity, but getting this thing to work is the real dream I'm trying to live. And yeah, I do know better this time. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. We momentarily lost track of your head. We momentarily lost track of your head. Please completely fill the window with your face. We momentarily lost track. We momentarily lost. We moment. We momentarily Dad! lost track of your head. Oh, man. man, that shit pissed me off, man. Eons later, and I finally get it done. Well, consider me electrifying because I look like Frankenstein's monster. This right here is the face of our story, y'all. So the story is centered on our player, Freak. And I'm not making that up. It's spelled F-R-E-Q, but I wouldn't blame you if you thought it was spelled F-R-E-A-K. We follow his journey through high school, college, and eventually the NBA. Freak has his sister Cece and his mom and dad along the way, who are supportive of Freak and only want what's best for him. Money, hard work is always rewarded, right? Yep, just like our parents. 32 years and they both still at the post office. <laughs> Brought us up right here in Harlem, USA, in the projects. Girl, this is definitely not the hood. I can tell because the court is cleaner than this transition, emptier than my DMs, and the rims still have the nets on them. And you know what? Let's address the elephant in the room here. Our player is supposed to be black. Your whole family's black. The odd thing is you can create your own guy any way you want to. Make him any color you want. Our guy came out kinda white somehow, even though I'm browner than a third place trophy. The point I'm trying to make is this guy being blood related to these people is... Odd, to say the very least. Even if you wanted to take the, oh, he's adopted route, you can't because the mom has a scene later where she mentions how Freak was kicking to the beat of the music when she was pregnant with him. So my husband Pete put headphones on my belly and played reggae music. Hence the name Frequency Vibrations. <laughs> we shortened it to Freak. So yeah, we're already off to a bizarre start. Boom! What up, CC? <laughs> this guy. Yo! I still got the skills though. <laughs> Too bad you got kicked off the squad. Man, I think the best thing about this face is that I have so many good candidates for the thumbnail. <laughs> Vic, you are no good on the curve bum. Let's just keep it 100. Two uh, times 50. Wow. You see how she doing that mathematics on me though? This is a tax on my character. As you already know, I'm an upright citizen with high morals and values. This guy is Vic. He's your best friend and is mostly the comic relief slash annoyance. Up is down, down is up, left is right, right is left. Wait, how to? <laughs> you know what, it's all good in the hood. You two know I'm dyslexic. It's dyslexic. Yo, you what? twisted for show. This guy is like a bowl of frosted flakes, but in human form. He's insane. Keep forgetting, I'm an FOF. And do tell, what is an FOF? A friend of freak. <laughs> uh, this dialogue is going to take 10 years off my life. Anyway, we have three high school games to play. We aren't far from tip -off. Tonight, it's your Parkside Dragons pitted against the Fairview Tornado. Fast break. Freak, do a dunk. Oh, or do that. I'm sure that'll make the highlight reel. The WNBA highlight reel, that is. Buzzer beater. Look at these stats, baby. They're they're not really all that impressive, actually. Everyone knows the respect that Villanova has in the basketball world, and our NBA roster boasts some of the most talented and passionate players in the NBA. Just look at the current player of former Wildcat, Kyle Lowry. This could be you, freak. No, this will be you. We have all these recruiters who are, for some reason, super impressed with my whole eight point score in that last game. While we're on the subject, let's talk about the gameplay. It's much like an all-star game. 
neither one matters. What's the point of playing this game if the actual game parts don't influence the outcome in any way? The gameplay is literally just filler in between the cutscenes. No matter how bad you play, the story continues as if you're this young up and coming prospect that's playing at an elite level. To prove my point, here's me messing around while I eat a Taco Bell nacho fries box. Aaron Rodgers. Tom Brady. Patrick Mahomes. There's a hole in my shorts. There's a hole in my shorts. Don't look, my dick's out. Just kidding. Shit. Jamarcus Russell. Why did that go in? And if you join the Wildcat Nation, not only will you be making a great decision, but quite frankly, it will get you to the professional level. See, look, after playing like a complete moron, the story still goes on the same. So from here on out, gameplay stuff will be ignored and we'll just assume Freak is playing at an elite level even though he's just standing there. So after the high school games, the Freak crew is at home ready to record a video. Hi everyone. I'd like to thank everyone from my coaches to my teammates. You guys taught me the importance of teamwork and working together. So thank you. I'd like to give a big shout out to my main man, Vic, holding the camera down. I ain't gonna ask where you got the camera, but thanks. And I'd like to thank my twin, Cece for being a great role model in my life. Ugh. These two are twins? Maybe Freak was exposed to radiation as a kid. We have to choose a university. This is the first of only two points in the game where you actually can have an influence on a cutscene. I choose Texas because everything's bigger in Texas and hopefully that includes my likes and views. They say everything is bigger in this state and I feel I will be too. I will be the newest audition too. The University of Texas at Austin. Yes! <laughs> Longhorn Nation. Okay, okay. Hey, I'm about to lasso me some honeys, though. Hey, CC, what up? What up? Go cut off the camera, bro. We're going to be rolling forever if we. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that made me smile. You can think whatever you want about the story of this, but it looks like they had a lot of fun shooting this. We move on to play amazingly at college. Then we have the crew discussing about whether or not to go pro after our first college season. Mr. Pagnotti, the agent I was telling you about, he's in the room too. How you doing, ma'am? I'm good, nice to meet you. What a pleasure to finally meet the queen mother of this young, talented man, even if only by telephone. We have an agent now. This is Dom Pagnotti. If you're a Spike Lee film connoisseur, you'd recognize Dom from He Got Game. Let's cut to the chase. Leaving college early now and entering this year's NBA draft is the right move right now. I was talking to my boy Vic the other day. Why? He, and he was making a lot of sense. He thinks I should leave early too. You know what? I've, I, no, no, I've kept quiet this whole time and I also think that Freak should join them. Who the fuck are you? Oh yeah, Freak has a girlfriend now. I swear I didn't skip any cutscenes. This is just a thing now, out of nowhere. Essentially, the agent and the girlfriend want Freak to go pro, the parents want him to have an education, and Freak is just like, I don't know! Well, we're at the NBA draft now. You can't skip it, so you have to slowly watch each draft pick until we get to pick number 29, which is when we're finally selected by the Nets. So I guess Freak decided to join the draft. Once again, I didn't skip anything. So much shit's happening off screen. We sign with the team. Vic continues to act like a goof. Hey, yo, I got you, man. Hey, in the building all day. And we have a press conference. I guess I will take some questions now. Yes, ma'am. How did you get the nickname Freak? Have you seen his face? Okay, so we have our first game and I'm not even starting. Guess I'll ride it out on a bell. Whoa, a little close there, buddy. You're not even watching the game. What's over here? What's up there? Oh, hi. Bench riding sucks. So I eventually get in the game, and like I mentioned before, none of this matters for the story, but I'll show you Freak's first points. You know, he's a great young player, and even- And that's the very first basket right there, folks, of what is hopefully a very long and and a very prosperous career from day. Halftime passes and I have to comment that it's interesting that video games still can't get hair right. These cheerleaders have detailed marks on their body which show the detail that went into making them. But they all look like they have wigs on! MLB The Show 21 just showed next gen footage and Fernando Tatis Jr. looks like he uses cement for hair gel. Like what's up with this? Anyway, we lose. We have a meeting with team owner. They couldn't give this guy a name. Local kid makes good. 
You know, it kind of reminds me of when I took my tech stock public and I rang the New York Stock Exchange bell and my mom's friends called her up and said, Maggie, is that your son on Bloomberg News this morning ringing the bell? And my mom says, yes, sir, Bob, it was him. Oh, That's my God. Mom, Does this meeting by any chance have to do with Vic Van Leer? My best friend was a guy named Isidore. <laughs> yeah. We called him Izzy. I mean, Izzy was taking second year college calculus courses as a high school sophomore, right? Straight. <sighs> okay, so what happened to this dude, Izzy? Because he's dope. <laughs> no, not dope. Dead. Sorry, uh, poor timing on my part, but can someone make gifts of these reactions? Thank you. You shouldn't be Brother Vic's keeper, freak. <laughs> Would a brother go looking for trouble? and put your career and your livelihood at risk by getting into fights at nightclubs and seedy after-hour joints and then scream to the media, yeah, it's all good, I'm an F.O.F., friend of Freak. It's all misunderstanding. Okay, I think you get it at this point. The owner thinks Freak should get rid of Vic. The owner shows Freak and tells him of the fights and whatnot Vic gets in and how Vic just uses Freak's name whenever it's convenient for him. The owner drops the ban hammer on Vic. Also, this scene has the best line or the worst line. I'll leave it up to you to decide. V! G! G! Vic! Gotta! Go! The main annoyance here is that they keep hammering home the same point a million times and it ends up being way too long. If you keep riding shotgun with Vic, you're gonna go broke. Quick. Fast okay, cool. Hurry. So Vic is done. Understood. History, don't be a hero. Cut that zero. Okay, I got it. Don't be a hero. Cut that zero. All right, all right. Vic, gotta go. All right, I get it. Later on, we're talking money. Now you've certainly made some money so far, freak. But it's time we make more money. I'm talking movies, TVs, endorsements, even your own brand Jordan sneakers. I care about the game fighters, Dom. And we got to set new goals and bigger goals, okay? I'm talking all-star game. I'm talking dunk contest. When was the last time you saw an NBA great in a dunk contest, huh? I'm talking first team all NBA, first team all defensive team. Whoa, 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 Dom. I'm a bench riding rookie. Popcorn in a microwave sees more minutes than I do. I don't even think Freak can touch the backboard, let alone dunk. And he throws up so many bricks you would think he's building in Fortnite. What about social media? Yvette, great idea. Social media. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Let's kick it up a notch. www.freakandvibing.com I wonder if that website works. No, it doesn't. Did you set up a website without consulting me? Yeah. When did this happen? Last week. I love you, but I got no time to waste, and you're out there busy doing whatever it is you're doing. Whatever I'm doing? You know what? I'm really sick and tired of the disrespect. This is Team Freak, not the Dom Pagnati I Italian American Opera. CC, calm down, all right? Dom here, he's just trying to take us to the next level. Look, Ming Ching. Whoa! I don't even know why you're here when your job is to look good and shut up. CC, chill. Freak eventually de-escalates everything. As for now, I want to focus on the court. And we'll discuss some of your ideas at a later date, understood? Yeah, we're cooling the gang, bro. That's all you got to say. Essentially, get right or get going. Yeah, I don't have time to be teaching you guys how to work together. It either starts now or I find it elsewhere. Squashed? Squashed. Zucchini. You get it? Because he's Italian. He watches The Godfather and eats spaghetti and some other Italian stereotypes. Dom's strategy of branding eventually pays off because he gets some his own Jordans. Let me tell you, Dom has to be the best agent ever because I have no clue how he got freaked this deal considering he never starts. Imagine if like, I don't know, Brian Scalabrini came out with Jordans. Ooh, like Christmas and my birthday on the same day. Oh. Yeah, you, oh, you got the wrong like color scheme. Oh, that's, hey, I'm on the other New York team. Oh, hey. hey I'm gonna have Whatever. Later on, Freak, Vic, and Yvette are hanging out and Freak is playing video games. And I'm putting invisible air quotes around the word playing. Take your man here. He's playing his hair video game is to not address the reason why his brand Jordan sneakers are sitting on store shelves collecting dust. Ooh. Yeah, well, maybe if they would have got the color right, that wouldn't have been the case. But Cece got people out here laughing at you, fam. Now, just let me take care of everything. You're the CEO, I'm the CFO, chief boss and officer. You hit me with that bread, and I got you. 
CC. How y'all doing? Uh, CC. Freak, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, what up? In private? CC. Go ahead. Yeah, so another argument breaks out, and it's hard not to be frustrated at this point because it seems everyone lives their own lives through Freak in a way. Vic and Yvette leave, and Freak has a moment with CC. Yeah, their love might be flawed, but it's true. What you need to understand is I don't need you to protect me anymore. I don't mind the people closest to me leeching off me. Yes, you do leech off me, and I leech off you too. Always had a good judge of character, even before I was born. Remember? Because I chose to come in this world with you. I don't think you could choose that, but the sentiment is nice. Later on, Vic and Freak have a car ride, and these never go well. Vic is playing his own rap song, which is probably not copyrighted, but I'm gonna be safe and not play it. Just take my word that this guy sucks. I'm just, I'm thinking about how fortunate you are. You know how, how blessed you are. You know, you, you grew up with a mom's and a dad, both parents. My mom's died from that flu. That sick parting gift my dad left my mom's. No, I feel you, Vic. But it's all right, man. You know, your moms and pops are good people. You know, may they rest in power. So you're gonna patronize me now? What kind of response is that? Vic, Vic, Vic. What are you doing right now? You got everything, don't you, freak? What do I have? Nothing. Man, I ain't got nothing. Yeah, you sound like you want something. Welch's sour grape right now, man. You jelly? I ain't jealous of you, freak. I think you are jealous of me. <laughs> oh, wait, you serious? Let me laugh even harder. <laughs> I think you jealous of the way that I'm laying it down with these hottie hotties on Instagram while you stuck at home with your one blazing beauty. Don't get heated because you went behind my back to get at Yvette and she turned you down, B. Hmm? Use my name as a coupon. Reel them all in. Hey, sweet thing. Hey, sweetie pie. Hey, shawty, you know I'm a FOF, a friend, a freak. And then when they husbands and boyfriends start coming after you and you want to play the macho man role, start throwing hands, scrapping and fighting, who's the one that has to bail you out of jail? Huh? Who's the one that has to pay these lawyers in six-figure settlements, huh? Me! Not you. Oh, no, not you, Vic. Who's the one stuck with the bill, Vic? Huh? Me! Not you, but me! Can I wear that hat? Dirt. Bike. Don. <laughs> Remember him? Dude who was robbing everybody in the towers? He ran up on you and told you to run it. Man. Oh man, he wanted your coat. Yo, no, nah, Vic. Oh, he wanted Vic, it so Vic, bad. No, we were fighting, all right? We were fighting. Okay, then he reached in this coat. And when he pulled, <laughs> yeah. we struggled, man. Yeah. And it, when he pulled back, he fell down steroid by himself that's right, that's and right, cracked his right. head in two. Yo, man, hey, calm, down, down. calm down, calm down. Yo, it's all good. It's all good, fam. I took care of all the loose ends when you ran down the flight of steps. Left me holding the bag. Who was it that saved the day? Me! It was me, Victor Van Leer, who cleaned your dirty plate for you. You're a clean freak. You're clean it in the board of health. Cause of who? Cause of me. You got all this because of me. It was me. Remember what I said about everyone being annoying because they all revolve their lives around freak? Well, this guy is the number one culprit of doing that. Oh, and he tried to bang Freak's girl, too. This guy has no redeeming qualities, in my opinion. Let me borrow this here ride, man. Yo, how many whips you got anyway? Man, come on. Yeah, you're right. I don't even want to know. I need this back at the end of the season in the same condition. <laughs> hey, I won't let you down, man. I do have a feeling we're going to let you down, Vic. We have a meeting with team owner about Vic. Vic is even insulting other athletes on Twitter now. Myself, the front office, and the coaches are not satisfied with the adjustments you've made in your life off the court. I personally warned you about the company you keep and we're fed up with the late nights and showing up late to shoot arounds and the bad press and the incident at the nightclub. The next move is freaks. It always has been. Question is, is he ready and willing to do what needs to be done? Freak, you gotta handle your business. Okay. 
We've all said our piece. You might cut me off as your manager, but I will always be your sister. So when this is on you. I might not like it, but I will respect any decision you make. Now, I'm gonna call my guy at Apollo Jets. I'm gonna get us a private plane for this tour. I promise you, you're gonna love the free agency experience. Wait, 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 wait. We're free agents now? I thought we were given a choice. I swear I didn't skip anything here. Now we have free agency and it already doesn't make any kind of logical sense because why are the Nets interested in me? The most interested at that. They're the ones who just released me and now they want me back? This makes no sense. We go through offers and we sign with the Nets just for hilarity's sake. And this is the second of two things that have an effect on a cutscene. I've decided to choose the Brooklyn Nets. Yo, fool, where you been? I've been trying to call you. Mr. Freak. Yo, who's this? This is Officer Vasquez with the 9th Precinct. Ah, yes, the very memorable character, Officer Vasquez, gets a name. But the team owner doesn't. Put down the phone, and I don't want to hear it get picked up until Victor Van Leer is on the phone. the phone. Put Vic on the phone. Mr. Freak, Mr. Van Leer was killed in a car accident. What's going on? Remember what I said about letting him down? Yeah, six feet underground. This is Cece. This is Freak's manager. Who am I speaking with? Hi, yes, look, we're going to need somebody to come down and identify Mr. Van Leer. Uh, eyewitnesses say that he was involved in a car chase. Two cars were chasing him, and as the chase escalated, he eventually lost control and crashed. <laughs> CC and Freak take it back to the core where this all started. Yeah, I'm gonna miss my brother Vic, though. Deep down, he was a good person at heart, but he was never quite right. Something was always off with him, yeah. even when we were little growing up. Yeah, I know, I know, but... I loved him anyway. I knew he was trying to take advantage of our friendship, but I didn't care. Well, that's one way to look at it. Freak buys his parents a house and a vacation, and that's the story. The Freak. What the hell? By the time you read this letter, I'll be long gone. I wrote this letter because it's the only way I think my voice will ever be heard. This piece of yellow paper is the only way I'll ever get any of you to stop, listen, really get to know me. Okay, so get this. The ghost of Vic walks onto the court and starts monologuing this note about his death. I can't believe this is in a basketball game. This moment and this story in general is surprisingly decisive. You obviously have the people who see it as a joke, but you have a surprising amount of people who think this scene is emotionally touching. There's nothing wrong with that, but I'm definitely the former. Vic does nothing but use Freak's name every chance he gets and every opportunity he gets. He's an asshole. He hits on Freak's girl behind his back. He calls Freak his first NBA team. He tries to guilt trip Freak and possibly even blackmail him. Oh yeah, and he crashed his car too. Uh, just saying. You know, honestly, by the end of this, I just wanted to cover a baseball bat with Icy Hot and shove it up his ass. Also, this is clearly a suicide note, but the officer mentions that Vic died from a car crash that came from two cars chasing him. It didn't sound like it was police cars chasing him, so how can it really be a suicide? Also, his monologue goes on for over eight minutes. You mean to tell me that all of that fit on this little piece of paper? He must have wrote that in Times New Roman with like 0.000001 sized font. And that is living the dream. After the story, you pick up playing my career like normal. The thing is, if you want to play my career without all this nonsense, you can't. The first year of your my career is always going to be tied to this stuff. So that means the majority of your first year is going to be simulated. Also, the freak name follows you throughout the whole my career, which is the biggest offense you could possibly make. This is bizarre. I think that's a good way to summarize this. Having a Spike Lee movie in your game is already a weird move. You can make that move even weirder by using the facial scan feature to create this glorious bastard. The story and the characters are not super interesting, 
There are some moments that legit make me smile, but often than not I'm frustrated or laughing for the wrong reasons. Gameplay is completely worthless and you could just stand there aimlessly and the story progresses. Why not just make a movie instead? Honestly, just watch He Got Game.